Good morning guys! Happy first day of spring! And also today is a um, special day. It's um, not only the first day of spring but it is also a Palm Sunday of the Passion of the Lord. Uh, I'm gonna be very busy for tonight's Mass and the Sunday Masses because I have to videotape the Passion Play. My husband is one of the volunteered um, actors in it, so I'm going to be very busy videotaping. And okay guys, I'm going to give you, um, this is my first tour ever. Um, this is the spring, first day of spring tour on my um, collection. Um, okay, I'll start with this one here. This symbidium here, I already repotted that one like a um, couple months ago, and she had a lot of um, new growths in there all around her. Like I counted, there's like 10, uh, 10, uh, I mean 11, 11 of that one in there. And I still have this yellow symbidium with a um, pink lip, no ID. And this one here is um, white phalaenopsis, a mammoth one. Look at the size of this. This is a rescue fowl. Yeah. And she really liked this um, semi hydrophonic medium. My goodness. One time I put like um Epsom salt and the um, water and just drenched them out and then uh, the root tips turned dark and I didn't do it again and she loved this so much that she did not even change her roots she just continued it and she have six buds she's probably gonna make more six mammoth fowl and this one reblooms for me. She's my oldest girl. No idea as well. Yeah, she's very pretty. Um, some of her bud blasted because I kept changing her location. My goodness. Space here is like an expensive real estate. That's why I keep changing. And this one here is also rebloom for me. And I also keep changing her location as well, so she stopped making buds. So she she only give end up giving me three blooms, but it's beautiful. Yeah, look at that, pretty. And this one here is my um, Dendrobium nobili, um, the Red Emperor Prince. She finally open look at that so dark in real life so dark um burgundy it's not really red like the name suggested it's really dark burgundy and dark throat with um with that like nice yellow in the center isn't it gorgeous it's really nice and my pink cymbidium, it's still blooming. Look at that. Real nice. This is the table here. This is my um very lush zygo petalum. And the other one, they're just making new babies. And this is the bam bamboo, not a true bamboo, lucky bamboo. I've been like cut, I'll take a lot of cuttings in them and put them in a full water culture and they just 
take off. I gave some to um to a friend. Yeah. That's my um uh was the um the Vanda type what's your name? Rinko Styli Celestis Brighty Pink pink and there's the white um she's done blooming. She got a lot six or seven new growth there. And so many large seedlings. Oh, this one, this baby, the maxil maxillaria tenifolia. I did not expect a lot from this baby, but she gave me, I thought there was only two blooms, but she gave me three. Surprise, surprise. She's very nice to me. Yeah. And, oh, bad lighting, so I'm not going to include it in there. That's my Dendrobium Royal Wings, the one that has pots. And she surprised me with another buddings in there. Look at that. She surprised me with that. That's my Vandas, my Retosas, Recostalis Retosa, and that's my um, Brasia Rex, and my... Um, um, how we're a lava burst still blooming and um, other specimen size dendrobium royal wings still going stronger and stronger every day I repotted that one. Oh, I'm just like trying to stay away from the glare the um, renanthera Calcium pink um, red spray. She had um, a lot, so maybe um, eight new roots that looks funny. There's some a lot of aerial roots in that too. And that's also um, started opening up. It's the new, I mean not new. It's um, rescue palinopsis also. I don't know what she looked like yet. It's kind of exciting because she had a lot of spots. Yeah. Okay, I moved to some place. Some place. This one is the uh, best light as I can get. As I can show you. There's another Ancidium hanging in there. And uh, my husband made me this... Um, was the um, wooden basket for my um, stanhopia and uh, go uh, not gongora um, what else the what are you Corianthus he built this for me and it's I'm so proud of it <laughs> I'm so thankful that he he gave this to me. All the plants are doing well. Yeah. Look at that. Another ancidium over there. And my saigo cactus or kick or Christmas cactus are blooming. Uh, I started some tomato seeds in there. Six varieties couple of them are heirlooms yeah started and this one here this is the leaping dolphin normally when it flowers there's a lot of red it looks like uh, the flower looks like a leaping dolphin very beautiful and this is a big red and the throat of these um flowers it's dark red that's almost black they really need to be going outside pretty soon and I'll go to the other side. Pardon me. Pardon me. As you all know, this is my um, navel orange. I started from seeds, like 
10 years ago, I, I guess. So I'm halfway there to getting some fruits. This is my second um, Dendrobium nobili, the Emperor Red Emperor Prince. It's also opening. Yeah, so pretty. And this is my Comet King Akatsuki. Look at that. I watered him yesterday because I know it's, it's a busy day today. And this is my lovely, lovely pink rabbit grace. Big, big bloom on this baby. Look at that. It's all around. Big bloom. Oh my goodness, huh? She really had a big, big blooms. The biggest bloom. And this one, oh my goodness. The, the BB pink color and the aging um, turned into a um, light lavender. Oh my goodness. It's the chain's colors. And this is so very beautiful. This is the Dendrobium Fancy Angel Lacy. So gorgeous. And this one, I sh this is my first time I show this to you. This is the Dendrobium Yellow Song Canary. Look at that. When it first bloom, it's only like, looks like an off-white. And then um, the more they age, it turned into this dark yellow canary. That's one beautiful, beautiful yellow. And this one, I think this is the first time I show this one to you too because um, uh, they opened not too long ago and I just waited for the other one so that everybody is um, um, date all at once all in one update that's what I'm trying to say and this is the Dendrobium Oriental Smile Butterfly yeah beautiful huh so gorgeous this is a spring time already and I have a lot of blooms and this one, this is the one I've been waiting for. She smells wonderful too. And her name is Dendrobium Oriental Smile Fantasy. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see, come on, come on. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? Yes, she is. And my, um,. Share a baby still blooming. Yes. And I'll show you the close up picture of this little girl here. Look at that. This is the first um, bloom that opens. This is a re bloom for me, too. Yeah. Beautiful. I have more pulse that's still in uh, buds. This one used to be the blue, the blue um, orchid, but there's no such thing as blue orchid, so I'm pretty sure this is a white. Yeah, there's more buds there, and the dendrobium close up. Royal wings, this one. Two. And that's my um, gungo right in there. And another basket. And a, another Corianthes in a basket that my husband built for me. I am so proud of the little basket, six inch basket. And that's my Bilara in there, in the corner. Oh, 
Sorry about the bad lighting, guys. And this one here, my um, Ricks Van Delden Pink Bees Fragrant Orchid. This is a rebloom also. And she's making me a very, very long spike. And until now, I didn't see any production of um, buddings yet. It's still continuing to grow the inflorescence. And this is the longest spike because um the last time like six months seven months ago when she um spiked for me it was shorter this one's longest and it's like maybe three or four months in the making my goodness and this is my old fall the white one she's old and huge huge leaves like that She's big. It's my original white pals. She never give up on me. She didn't she didn't die on my care. Instead she's just growing big leaves. Yeah. And this one is also a risky file. I'm pretty sure it's a dark pink. You can tell. A lot of bud blasted also because of the uh, I keep changing their location and my Vanda big girl Vanda my first Vanda this is um Vanda Dennis Sander cross with um Vanda San Sander Sanderiana Alba by Vanda Denisiniana no rebloom yet, but it's giving me um four leaves since I got this baby. And I put two vandas in here. Yeah, you know, they can share. And I put my um that one, that little girl down there, it's actually fragrant. The epidendrum, centroperolum, it's actually fragrant girl. And my um Whatever that is, that Taiwan gold something, Katasitum type, it's in there, and my new and gray comb, it's in there, in the sun. And I have my Belina in there, my beautiful Belina, and she had a um, spike. And my Spectabili, the Drobium Spectabili, it's in there. And all my, um, this one's in hydro semi hydrophonic, um, species phalaenopsis and I am so mad at myself for ordering this in the winter because like um I noticed since last week I uh, no since I repotted it the next day after I videotaped the the hole from um tropical orchid farm it suffered um cold cold damage like that I don't know if it gonna survive it has a very nice flat roots in there. I keep spraying that one. It's beautiful leaves, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to reorder them. I'm not the type of person who keeps all complaints to the um, business, um, you know, to the nursery and then ask for a repl replacement. I didn't do it right away, so I was so excited. I didn't notice it right away. So, but I did notice when I opened it that it was like wob wobbly and loose. And there is no heat pack in the box. So, my fault. I ordered them too cold in the winter. Should not have. But this one here, beautiful. They're doing great. Yep. They're so happy in their little container of semi hydrophonic. And the alba form of. Um, Polanopsis. I think this one is um, uh, still a seedling and it has um, I think this one planted from seeds because there's like um, three in there three um, babies yeah I got lucky the Falba Yulisha variety Alba beautiful and my practice cattleyas in here. I divided my um my cut, big cattleya. I divided it. I cut the rhizome 
um, in the pot and then two months later I separate them it worked fine and this one here is the dendrobium oriental magic carnival isn't she pretty color yes 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 pretty 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 yeah very pretty and my primrose uh, not primrose um african violets and ancidium my cycopsis and more orchids the aggregatum there's more in the windowsill I got red psycho cactus in there more stuff um, that one there is my um my little prince someday if I won't kill that one it would grow to be a king this is uh, Australian dendrobium the, um, the famous king of the orchid world is the um, dendrobium speciosum yeah since I got this one um, she gave he he gave me um five new little sort of bulb yes yeah, um, I took care of him for um, a year a year and a few months so She's, he's a prince right now, but someday he'll be a king. Yep. African violets. What else? I guess this is, this is it from this area here. And I continue in the other room. This is my DTPS Purple Martin Champion. And, um... Guess what? She's loving this little container in here. And she have she's gi given me a spike. Look at that, huh? I can't wait for this purple martin to bloom for me for the first time. It's a rebloom. She won't focus. But you can see it there. It's a spike. And this one, she got no name, but I think this is the um, no, I'm not even going to say it because I'm probably wrong. But she's still blooming. She lo she's loving this semi-hydrophonic. And this one too. She's so pretty in this color. And then she's making more buds. Look at that. She's not going to stop, I guess. And a bud and sad news. I'm going to reorder this one because... Remember when I opened um, the box from the Tropical Orchid Farm, I was so enamored with the buds, flowers, tiny, but I noticed, I did notice that she was super yellow. I thought because it's Hawaiian sunlight and I thought she was just overexposed from the sun, but then I repot her and put her in the, in the um, shaded area and she never turned into a green color. So. And I noticed that there's like blistering and then darkening in the by the crown area. And I said, oh my god, it's a cold damage. And one leaf fell off. And then I was watching this um, progress, the rat progress in there. But the buds still, some blasted. And this one's still doing good. But the plants is going to die. And it's too late. I, I'm, I don't like to ask for... Um, replacement or something because they did give me um free orchid and I felt bad that I ordered this one um in the winter since um phalaenopsis or like the species or hybrid they're I know they're very sensitive to cold weather and there's just no heat packs in the in the box so it's my fault for ordering it too early still in the winter so that's a sad sad story about this only these two phalaenopsis, the one, this one, and um, the other one that has um, blisters in there for cold damage. So I'm gonna lose this one, but it's okay. It's okay. It's a live, it's a live plant. So okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, I have more. I'm sorry, the video is too long, but I have more orchids in the other room. And we are almost done, guys. This is my second table here in the living room. 
and this is the Amazonica. I treated her like uh, just a phalaenopsis, but with um, more humidity area base type thing. And she loves this. Been doing this one for over a month now. And then um, when I watered her yesterday, I saw the nice, happy root um, root growth in there. She's really something. Oh, quite heavy. Yeah, she's loving it in there. I just put a lot of um, flake of clay in there, some water, and just in there. Yeah, this is my um, my Amazonica. And my beautiful Dendrobium Pure Heart Love. And this one also, she's like, she used to be a um, light lavender. Now it's dark, uh, it's darker now. And then the green one is in there. The green one is this one, windy. So pretty. Oops, an accident. It's okay. That could happen to tight place. That's green. And more phalaenopsis. This one, the Baldans, um, the Peloric Baldans Kaleidoscope three lips. Oh my goodness, she's still going, going and going. And this one, she bloomed from the branch. Three of them, gorgeous. And this one, she's never stopped. I don't know, she's no ID, and she's not stopping. She's Continuing to make more buds in there. I don't know. And that's my Hoya. That's my Katatante in there. It's growing like weed. No bloom, no re-blooms yet. And that's the um, Phalaenopsis that my sister gave me for my birthday. They are very pretty. Look at that. And that one is a rebloom for me. This is my old girl. Yeah. And this one's making new spike. And that one is opening her buds. She's a rebloom also. Yeah. Oh, really bad lighting, guys. I'm just gonna end this one here. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm so sorry it's so long. Um. This is my spring tour, first ever tour in my collection. Thank you so much for watching it and for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much again. Bye.